welcome back to my channel good morning it is about 6 30 and i thought i would film what and what i eat in a day <laughs> what i ate in a day what i eat in a day i haven't done one of these in forever and i used to do them all the time and i thought it might be kind of fun to show you what i eat in a day pregnancy edition not that it changed like not that so much has changed to be completely honest like i'm still eating all the things that i normally eat but i thought it might be fun to show you guys what I eat in a day, especially now that I am six months pregnant. So anyway, I'm gonna go downstairs. I need to feed all of the cats first and then I will make myself some breakfast. I just felt baby kick a little bit. Oh, so cute. Say good morning to Sammy. You guys remember when he, I think the last time I showed him he was like eight weeks old. Now he's seven months old and he's a big, big boy. <laughs> right, Sammy? You're a big boy now. Okay, so I'm struggling a little bit with what to eat this morning because what I normally have for breakfast, I had for dinner last night. <laughs> I normally have these amazing sprouted bagels. They're so good with some sort of topping. Um, I don't feel super hungry, but I'm going to work and I don't get a break to eat until a little bit later in the day. And so I just want to make sure that I'm full and not starving. I'm conflicted because I'm not really craving what it is I normally have on my bagel, but I should probably just have it anyway. I think I'm also going to definitely have a glass of orange juice because I love orange juice so much. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me take out all of the ingredients and then I'll show you. Okay, so normally I have a better protein <laughs> to put on my bagel, although these bagels do have 10 grams of protein. Um, so I'm going to have one of these bagels, and then I'm going to spread on it this Kalamata olive spread, so delicious, as well as this fresh artichoke tapenade. I'm going to put a little bit of nutritional yeast on it, and then I normally put on top of that, like, a little bit of tofu salad, but we don't have any left. So I'm just going to cut up some of this jalapeno Havarti style diet cheese, which is so delicious. And then I'm also going to have a side of blueberries and then I'll bring the blueberries I don't eat with me to work. And this is my finished breakfast. There's a cup of orange juice here. So yeah, I have to eat this quickly because I have to go in like 10 minutes and I'm not even dressed. Um, and then I will check back in with you guys later. Sneaking a few blueberries. I wasn't actually able to finish my breakfast this morning so I'm just leaving it on the table. But I'm gonna eat some blueberries now. It's about, I think it's, 9 30 yeah i'm gonna have some of these now okay it's a little after 12 30. i originally thought that i would be able to eat a snack like in between i have like a little half hour break um today and i wasn't able to so i'm like really hungry but the positive thing is also welcome back to my car i'm sure some of you remember it from all my car vlogs uh the positive thing is i didn't finish my breakfast from this morning so I have the other half of my breakfast. It looks really gross, but I'm gonna eat it because I'm really, really hungry. So I'm gonna eat this and go home and then have some lunch and I will show you guys what I'm gonna have for lunch when I get home. Okay, so I just got home. I'm pretty hungry, but I think what I want is a smoothie. I'll have a smoothie now and then that'll give me a little bit more time to like think about what it is I really want um and i feel like i didn't get enough protein with breakfast so i'm going to add some protein to my smoothie so let me show you what i'm going to put in it so i'm going to have a peanut butter banana and strawberry smoothie and i'm going to add this garden of life raw organic vegan protein powder to it and some almond milk and yeah i think it should be good So good. Mm. The vanilla protein powder really made it taste delicious. And normally I'm like not a huge fan of smoothies. I don't know. Sometimes they just don't hit the spot. But I thought about this smoothie yesterday. And then I saw that we had fresh strawberries today. And I was like, yes, that's exactly what I'm making. And the bananas too, like have ripened a lot so it's good that i got to use one mm. okay i'm just gonna finish up this smoothie oh my gosh i probably won't even need like a full out like super huge lunch because of it which is nice um so i'm gonna finish this smoothie 
and check back in with you guys later. So it's about 3.30 now and that smoothie did keep me really full. I just edited a bunch of videos and stuff so that was really nice but I'm feeling a little bit hungry now so I think I'm going to go downstairs and make myself... I don't know, it's a weird time, right? Because it's like not dinner time, but it's also too late for lunch. But as you can probably tell, I don't really like adhere to the normal like breakfast, lunch, dinner standards. So I think I'm going to go make, go downstairs and make like more of like a full dinner, like meal-ish. And by the time it'll be ready, it'll be like 4.30, 4.35, 4.45 anyway. And I think what I want is I have this soup. It's a Thai sweet potato soup. And I think I'm going to make some rice and some seitan to go with the soup just to like make it a little bit more of a complete meal. And yeah, I changed into my holiday pajamas, which you guys are, I, I decided, you guys are going to be so sick of seeing these pajamas because I decided to do Vlogmas this year. And I'll explain in like Vlogmas day one um, why I wasn't going to do it and then why I decided to do it. But anyway, you're going to be sick of seeing these pajamas because I wear them all the time. I love them so much. So anyway, yes, I'm going to run downstairs now and start making some lunch, late lunch slash early, early dinner, like super early dinner. So I have these seitan wheat protein, protein, I always want to say protein, protein cubes. And I'm going to add these into this soup it's organic thai sweet potato soup it's really good there's just like not enough to it so that's why i'm making the rice brown rice and then yeah this the seitan um protein cubes are great because they have a lot a lot of protein in them and i find that sometimes it's a little tricky getting my protein in so yeah i am going to just combine all of these things for my early early dinner so I'm starving and the race is taking forever. So I'm gonna have some of this spinach artichoke hummus with some crackers while I wait. And here's it all finished. I accidentally poured a little bit too much soup so you can like barely see the rice, but that's okay. It looks like a big portion, but I may not finish all of it, but it looks so delicious. I added some extra turmeric and cumin and garlic, salt and pepper to it as well as some toasted sesame seeds. And yeah, I just crisped up the seitan a little bit. So after I made the rice, I put the rice in a separate bowl. I put the seitan into the pot and just crisped it up a, crisped it up a little bit <laughs> with olive oil. And then I poured in the soup and heated the soup up. And then that's it. Ooh, the kitchen was getting really hot. So yeah, I'm gonna tuck into my dinner now because I am super, super hungry. Ooh, I'm still like really hot. <laughs> from the kitchen and from eating. That was so good, I'm so full. I almost forgot and I literally never forget. I never ever forget, but to take my prenatal vitamins. So I'm gonna take them now. I've been taking the Garden of Life My Kind Organics vitamins. They're amazing, I will link them down below. And so yeah, I'm going to have some water now, take my vitamins and then just <laughs> digest the deliciousness that I just ate. So it's about 6.30 now and I thought I would film in front of my Christmas lights. I love Christmas lights. Elsie just got nervous. She's like, Ma, why are you talking to yourself? Super weird. Anyway, I'm still so full from dinner. So full. And last night, here's a fun fact. Last night I actually ended up going to bed at 8 p.m. <laughs> it's like pregnancy combined with just like my natural inclination toward like grandma habits including like just sitting and watching movies and then going to bed super early so and I knew that I had to get up so early this morning for work so I went to bed really early last night and woke up really early this morning which just means like I can already feel myself like starting to get really tired um and like couple that with pregnancy just like already being tired and yeah, I'm just feeling so, so full, and so I don't, I really don't think I'm going to eat anything else for the rest of the night. If I do, like, I'll insert it, but I'm feeling, like, it's funny, too, like, being pregnant, like, normally when you're full, like, you just feel full, but being pregnant, like, I feel really full, and then I start to feel, like, it's not pulling, but just, like, a lot of tightness up here, like, right by my rib cage, and it feels uncomfortable, you know, it just feels like there's food in my stomach, there's a baby, and there's just, like, so much stuff. So that's why I feel like I'm probably not going to eat anything else for the rest of the night, which is very unlike me because normally I do like to have a little dessert or something at the end of the night. But yeah, I'm feeling so full and so I think I'm just going to call it a night in terms of food. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this What I Eat in a Day. Let me know down in the comments below if you want to see more of these. And I will talk to you guys really soon. Bye guys!